Hey guys, it's me. Um, I'm here today because I'm just kind of bored and want to film a video. Plus, I haven't uploaded in a really long time. So, huh. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Um, I'm kind of going to make this like a current favorites video and um, I have a tiny rant a little bit. Probably like bigger than the screen. But I have a small rant and we'll see where this video goes. It'll probably be shit, but oh well. Um, I'll start with my current favorites, like current favorites, current obsessions kind of thing. My current obsession is freaking like anagram things. Like I got these a little while ago when I was younger because I was like, oh, I want to decorate my room. And my initials are KLR. So I got like a little K. Can you see that? So I'm like the beauty guru thing. A little K. A little R. L, that's no. And a little R. Um, but yeah, that's what I got these things, and I just kind of put them together under my initials, so you can kind of do whatever. They're still like little wooden blocks with my initials on them. Um, uh, my birthday was about a month ago, and my friend made me this really, really, really cool thing here. Right there, a little lullaby cube. My friend made me that for my birthday. She's because she's an awesome friend, and we're both super, super obsessed with Kick the PJ. I'm currently obsessed with tattoos. Like, super, super obsessed with tattoos. Um, I'm obsessed with books. I love books. I went to a thrift shop today. Um, around here we have this thing called Goodwill. And I got these books for like, this one was 97 cents. It's the Lovely Bones. It's paperback, it's hardback. It's for Shane. Um, I feel rude reading people's cards. This is called The Lovely Bones. It's written by Alice Siebold. This is originally $21 and it's in good, it's in great condition. Like, it's not like bent, the pages aren't bent. And it's pretty cool. Um, I also got these two books for, uh, both of these were 47 cents each. Um, if I Stay, which is a movie I wanted to see but never saw. And Where She Went. Both are written by Gail Foreman. And I just think they were just really good. Like, the movie looked really good, so I kind of want to read the book. And then I think I'm going to buy the movie and see what the movie looks like. I think typically they're like $15. I don't know. Um, but yeah. That's just decorating with ball jars. Um, we have blue ones and green ones. And you just put the little thing on. And I have like, I have coins in here because I'm saving it for VidCon, which is the next topic. And, um, I have one over, I have some over there with ponytails in them. I put my makeup brushes in them. My eyeliners and stuff. Like, all my pencil stuff. I have some with ponytails and bobby pins and headbands, like, bands. To kind of artsily placed around my whole room. Yeah. So... Now that I've surpassed my physical obsessions, I'm going to go with my YouTube obsession. I'm doing, uh, I'm gonna do uh, YouTubers that I'm obsessed with, tell you a little bit about each of them, and then I'll do my little rant, and yeah. So make sure you stay till the end of the video to see my tiny rant. Uh, some of the YouTubers are like, I'm just gonna go through my subscription list on my phone, so I hope you guys don't think I'm being rude. I'm just looking at my phone that's plugged in because it's at like 2%. Okay, YouTube. Once this loads, it's gonna like cancel out my music. Uh, let's start. Okay. Memory Heart. I'm gonna do, I will do, I'll do like a series out of this, guys. What do you guys think? Like this video if you think I should do a series and just do 10 people I'm subscribed to per video and just tell you a little bit. Like how I found out about them, what I like about them, stuff like that. Um, Mamrie Hart is the first one on my subscription list because I just, I've been watching her but I just subscribed to her today. Uh, Mamrie is really cool. I heard have heard about her through Grace Helbig who is like amazing YouTube princess. Uh, she does these things called Why Dad, which are You Deserve a Drink, and I like her YouTube Deserve a Drink. Then she did one with like John Green and Hank Green. And 
actually with Shane Dawson and Connor for and stuff like that, so I really like her videos there, and she's really funny, and she has the most amazing puns. <sighs> uh, next is Shane Dawson. Um, I heard about Shane Dawson through Tyler Oakley. I watched, I think, their Sexy Would You Rather. Good video. You should check that out. I might put it in the link below. Every YouTuber that I mention, I'm going to put in the, uh, a description in the description box down below, so you guys can just click on that and go check them out and subscribe, because they're all amazing. Anyway, Shane Dawson. I like Shane Dawson because he's quirky and he does like, um, Shane Dawson is really just hilarious. I think he's been here since like almost the very beginning. He's amazing and I love him and he's adorable, of course. And I'm very proud of him for what he just did. Very, very, it takes a lot of courage to do stuff like that. Um, and I am just really proud of all of my YouTubers. All the YouTubers that I like that have just recently come out, like That's What Jack just came out today, and Connor Franta, and Troy Sivan. I'm just all, I'm proud of all of you. You guys are very brave. Next is Tyler Oakley, my queen. Tyler is the whole reason I started YouTuber, YouTube. I found out, I found Tyler through Connor Franta. Actually, it was either Connor Franta or Kingsley. And Oh my goodness, he was amazing, he is adorable, he is my spirit animal, like, his hair and his videos are just so insane and honest, and his book, Binge, go pre-order his book, Binge, I'm super excited, oh, go get Shane's book, I hate my selfie, which I can't find anywhere, trust me, if I had them, I'd hold them up for you, but I can't, yeah, I absolutely love Tyler, he's adorable, and he is just so positive all the time, and he's just always owned himself, and he is down, and he is... He is amazing. Next is Cameron Dallas. I found out about Cameron Dallas through Jack and Jack because I went to a concert with a friend from the archery club that I shoot at. She uh, she invited me to go see Summer, the show of the summer, which was oh the girl from Disney Channel. I wish I could remember your name. You were really good. I wish I could remember your name. If you're watching, you're probably not watching this. Jacob Whitesides, Jack and Jack. Uh, R5, Fifth Harmony, and Sean Mendez. I found out about Cameron through Jack and Jack and Nash Greer. Dan is not on fire. Is. Yeah. Um, I don't have words to describe Dan. Dan Howell is beautiful. Dan Howell is amazing. And uh, yeah, I can't think of anything else to describe Dan Howell. Uh, he's super sweet, super honest, he's not posh, he's articulate. Um, if you watched his video, you'd understand that. Um, <laughs> Dan, I found out about Dan through Jack and Finn, who I found out about through Tyler Oakley. So everything ties back to Tyler. Um, but no, I really like Dan Howell, he's a sweetheart. He makes me happy, and I don't think, I don't know, he's just, he's always, he always makes me smile when I feel depressed, and I, I rely a whole lot on Dan. <laughs> Amazing Phil, that's like perfectly placed. Amazing Phil, uh, Phil Lester, the same thing with Dan, I found out about Phil through Dan, which I, I wish I couldn't have, I wish I would have found Phil first, because I have a super big crush on Phil. I have a crush on Dan, like Dan's hot, but like I really, really like Phil. Um, I should do an impression of Phil. My impression, I'll do my impression of Dan, ready? Hi. My name is Dan. <laughs> and then you go, Phil, he, hi guys! Like I don't even have that much confidence, like way to go Phil, I'm proud of you. My favorite video from Phil is Toxic. Look it up, it's good. Uh, oh, more Zoella. Zoe. Zoe, Tyler. Oh, Tyler. I found out about Zoe by Tyler. That's how I found out about Zoe. Zoe is my inspiration for a lot. Like, um, a lot of my clothes is, a lot of my clothing choices and my individuality is stemmed off of Zoe. When she's like, be yourself, I take that to heart and I really try. Um, I had my hair ombre for a little bit because of Zoe. Uh, I love Zoe and she helps with my anxiety and I appreciate it and I love her so much. I love you Zoe if you're watching this because I, you're not at VidCon. K 
kick the PJ. I talked about kick the PJ a little bit in my first video. Oh my gosh. PJ Ligori. <laughs> Leaves me speechless. Uh, he has amazing videos. My favorite PJ video is Oscar's Hotel, which is becoming a video series, which you guys should check out. It's $10 on Vimeo, and I'm super excited. Um, and PJ has an amazing voice, and he's so creative, and I just... Peach. <laughs> Enough said. Sarah, my friend Sarah, my best friend Sarah, she'll be on my next video, which is an innuendo bingo. Peach. <laughs> That's your Joe. Joe Sug is amazing. He makes me so happy. He's so cute. I could... Mm. Oh. Yeah, I'll talk more about him in my next video because of the innuendo bingo thing. So, we're gonna move on to my little rant. My little rant is, it is 2015. It is July 24th, 2015. So this currently means that Paper Towns is out by John Green. So I'm seeing that tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. Um... I'm vlogging that, by the way. I don't know if that's going to go on this channel, but I'm vlogging it. Um, VidCon started yesterday. VidCon 2015. I looked up the reviews, like the thing for it. Zoe's not there. Zoe Sug, Alfie Days, Casper Lee, and Joe Sug. I, I'm like, those are the people I want to meet. Like, and I'm also very upset that I couldn't be here at the Bayview this year because of all the Oscars hotel things. And then the night on the town, I would have absolutely been obsessed to see Paper Towns at VidCon. Uh, but next year, my friend Sarah and I plan to go to VidCon, which I will vlog as well. VidCon 2016, super, super excited. Um, it's just something I'm really excited about. I'm currently obsessed with it, like die hard obsessed with VidCon right now. And I just really want to see it. Uh, I'm going there next year. So say this channel takes off, if you guys see me there, come up to me, say hi, uh, give me a hug, take pictures, it'll be great. And yeah, that's about all I can say. If you see me, come say hi to me, please. Um, I love you guys so much. I will see all you beautiful people next week. Uh, bye!